Throughout this video, I'll show you where and how to edit the order receive page on your WooCommerce store. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. Throughout this video, I'll show you how to customize your order receive page. So if we quickly go through the checkout process, and now we can see this custom design order receive page. Here we can see the best sellers section. We can see this save 15% off your next purchase. And you can add an element on this order receive page, such as a post checkout survey. Maybe you want to encourage customers to join your community, or maybe you just want to show additional information on how to actually get the best of what it is that they've actually purchased. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com, go ahead and download the all-in-one at checkout plugin by AOV up. I'll leave a link in the description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard. Okay so assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one at checkout plugin and the next step is to go ahead and upload, install and activate that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload the plugin. Once you've done so you'll see this Wii Suite menu here. Go ahead and click activate. Enter in your license key it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section. From here we can scroll down and we just make sure we enable the all-in-one checkout plugin, the free version and the pro version okay. So I've got this installed and activated. Now we'll go ahead and configure our our order receive page okay so let's head over to AIO checkout for all-in-one checkout and now we'll go ahead and create a new checkout okay so by default you'll have your billing details shipping details order summary shipping payments and so on okay if you wanted to customize the checkout fields you can do so by dragging and dropping different fields onto here and rearranging it as well. So I'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how you can go ahead and customize a checkout field. But for now, we just want to navigate over to design. We can go ahead and continue using our theme default design, or we can create a custom checkout design or one of our predefined checkout design. Okay. But what we're interested in is the order confirmation page. So we'll just head over to the thank you page tab. Okay. We'll select no, and then we'll just click build from scratch here. Or you can use one of our custom thank you page design. Okay. But I'm just going to click build from scratch. Okay. We'll give this a name. Okay, so now we'll start to build out the design of our thank you page. For example, we will have a main section here. Let's go ahead and add a heading. We can say something like, and then we can give the customers their order information. So I'm going to add two columns to this. Okay, then we'll head over to the AOV up blog and we'll just search for a thank you page. I'll leave a link in the description below to this particular blog post because you will need it for these short codes. Okay, so let's just copy over these short codes now. So this is the customer's order detail, the order date, the email address, order total, payment method, the order detail table, shipping address, billing address, and so on. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy these over. Then I'm going to paste it here. And let's copy these and then we will go ahead and paste it here. I should note as well that you can use your preferred page builder. I'm just using Gutenberg just to keep things super simple, but you can use Divi, um, Element or any other page builder you want. Okay. Okay. We'll add a, another section, add a head in here, and then we'll say something like bestsellers. Okay, that looks good. And maybe we can entice customers to make another purchase, right? So we can add in a opt-in field to say something like if they sign up, they'll get a 10% discount off the next purchase or something like that. Okay, so you can go ahead and build out the individual sections, but just for time, I'm just selecting a few predefined ones, but hopefully you get the idea, right? You might want to add a featured image so you can quickly identify this particular custom thank you page. Okay, and we'll publish this and then we'll head back over to our checkout page. Okay, so we'll just click back to editing. Okay, and then here we can see our new checkout design. So we can go ahead and edit this again if we wanted to make any additional changes to it in the future. Or we can just go ahead and select it. And then we'll navigate over to settings. We'll make sure we enable this checkout. We'll set it as our global checkout and we'll give it a name. It's just for internal purposes. And we can ignore the slug where it says applies to. It will automatically apply to everyone since we've set it as our global checkout. Um, let's disable this option. 
and we can rename as well the place order button with any custom text as well we can just add it here so we'll just hit save changes and then we'll go ahead and check out our custom order confirmation page okay so that saves fine so let's head over to our store page so a few things I would change straight away personally is here we're showing the shipping and the billing address here. So maybe I'd show the shipping address over here and then the billing address over here and then maybe just add some heading under it. Okay, so it's good to go ahead and test just to make sure everything's working as expected. But hopefully you get the idea. So if you've got a post checkout survey, you can embed it onto your thank you page. Um, maybe you want to prompt customers to sign up to your email list, you can do so as well. You can add related products or bestsellers, for example, like what we're doing here. Hopefully that gives you a rough idea. So this is just something I came up with in five minutes. Hopefully you'll spend slightly longer designing your thank you page and create something much better than this. So I'm just going to quickly edit these minor details here and then we'll check back and see how it looks. OK, so let's head back over to our dashboard. Let's go ahead and edit this template. OK, so let's update this and then let's double check our order receives a page. OK, so let's refresh this page. OK, so this looks this is starting to look much better. So let's remove this table since we've already got it here. Um, so let's do that now. OK, so let's update our design. Let's view our checkout again. OK, and this looks much better. We could also flip the columns around as well. So if we head over here, let's minimize this slightly and then let's just switch it around and see how this looks. OK, so I'm loving this a lot better. This looks very clean and modern, but you get the idea, right? So we can customize our order receive page and add any particular element we want. And that's a quick and simple way to edit your order receive page. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.